Well, tonight we're going to fertilize our raspberries and our blueberries. I told you I get a lot of fertilizer just for the special needs of different kind of plants. This is uh, Blueberries Alive from Gardens Alive. And um, sometimes I tend to forget that it's time to get this stuff in. Um, it says plant fertilize late winter, early spring. And here we already are the uh, third of, uh, fourth of uh, April. So I got to get this uh, blueberries fertilized for the uh, spring. Uh, for the summer, so they get a nice growth coming up. We tr tr had a YouTube put up on trimming the, the um, blueberries a little while ago. So now it's time to uh, get them fertilized. So we get a nice head start in the air. So we can get this open here. There we go. And the same with the raspberries. They say fertilize those, and it says right here, fertilize the end of. Um, winter, early spring. So that's exactly what we're going to do today because it's time to do it. And then they fertilize them again when it starts to fruit. But I have a special uh, liquid organic fertilizer I use which we'll get to later on when it comes to time to do that. It should be sometime probably in June when the black raspberries or tickler starts when the black raspberries start to uh, set fruit. And um, end of June. All right. So let's go out and do some fertilizing here. Well, they say we're going to get some snow this weekend again, but uh, so we'll be doing some extra covering on the peas, which are already uh, coming up. Here we go. So they say broadcast around uh, five pounds per hundred square feet. That's about what we have here. So we'll step in here and give it a quick sprinkle around each plant base. And just a light little mix in the bark mulch, and we're good to go. There we go. Just kind of just throw it around the perimeters under the drip edge. And then it'll go right through the bark mulch, no problem at all. There we go. Very simple, very quick. These are all, um, I guess you call these, uh, not exactly high bush, but um, medium height. I think about three, four feet in height. This is all organic fertilizer. And it says it's derived from um, plant and animal byproducts. Don't worry about putting uh, bad stuff down. Well, do it there. I just cultivate it in a little bit just to move it away from the top of the soil. <coughs> this is bark mulch. It'll it will um, drain down as the water and rains hit it and dissolves it. I like putting the bark mulch around. It keeps from the weeds coming up. It keeps it nice and neat looking too. Also run some uh, drip irrigation in here too, as you can see the uh, tube right there. I leave it all winter long. It never really seems to have a problem with splitting or freezing because it's drip irrigation. It has little uh, weeping holes in the 
hose itself so it just it doesn't get all blacked up with water so it doesn't freeze solid. Right, takes care of that. Now let's move on to the raspberries. And the same instructions there. About uh, five uh, pounds per ten uh, inches of um, ten sorry ten five pounds per hundred square feet. And we got something down in here, having fun. Something's looking for food in here. <clears throat> Who knows? It could be. Skunks at nighttime looking for grubs. <coughs> so this is um, raspberry alive. Nitrogen is four percent, two percent phosphate, and four percent um, potash. Derived from bone meal, sown soybean, cottonseed meal. We can say it. Alfalfa meal, humate cloud buster, sodium. So all, all organic, natural things. I don't know if it's organic, but it's natural, so no chemicals. And once again, five pounds per hundred square feet. We got the uh, black raspberries here, and they produce around the uh, end of uh, mid middle of July, actually. I like doing a uh, straw. Around it keeps the uh, weeds down again. Also keeps the moisture in. And uh, here we go. We'll just get a quick little uh, hoeing on the straw. It doesn't have to get down the soil as it rains. It'll dissolve and just go right down. Then when it starts fruiting. I do have to do a little bit of trimming yet, get some of the dead winter growth out of there. I'll be doing that probably sometime this weekend. I could have done that in winter, but uh, spring is fine too before it starts uh, putting out shoots. I'm going to take out some of this uh, thinner stuff here and get it clipped back so it fills up nice and full and, um, as far as a nice full bush for the berries to, to form on. But um, we're in pretty good shape here. I don't have to trim much. I did trim them last fall. Take some of the excess off of it. Do have to, uh, fortunately, the uh, animals and the birds love these things, so I do have to put netting over top of them to, so I can have something for myself to enjoy. Gotta share them, but hey. There's plenty of other things out there to share with the birds. And I do feed the birds, bird feed all year round. Kind of a thank you for keeping the insects down. They do. Birds help keep the insects down a lot. Okay, and that's as uh, simple as that. So we've got the raspberries fertilized and the blueberries. And we'll come back and do a little bit of um, pruning here to get these more back closer to the uh, main part of their uh, stem. And we'll uh, 
be back with more. I'll simply garden.